it's Josie Weiss and today we're going to be reading the Marvel Superhero Collection book of the Avengers. If you like this book, make sure you buy it so you can read along with me at home. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stories just like it. The world is filled with ordinary people and their daily comings and goings, activities and squabbles. Within this world, there are those who are extraordinary. Some, like supervillains, intend to harm, and others are superheroes who rise to defeat them and keep the world safe. This is the story of how the world's mightiest team of heroes came together. Tony Stark was a billionaire who ran a company called Stark Industries. He was also an intelligent inventor who used his skills to create a suit made of iron. When Tony wore the suit, he became almost invincible. People around the world knew him as Iron Man. Steve Rogers was always the smallest in his class. The army recruited him for their super soldier project and infused him with a serum that made him strong. It even caused him to age slowly. He was known as Captain America. Natasha Romanoff was an orphaned Russian super spy trained in martial arts. She chose to work for good under the code name Black Widow. Clint Barton was also an orphan who joined the circus. Eventually, he got tired of being a performer. He used his skills in archery to become the superhero known as Hawkeye. In another realm far away from Earth, the mighty Thor kept Asgard safe from supervillains. Thor's father, Odin, Asgard's ruler, had given him a powerful hammer called Mjolnir, which could only be lifted by someone who was worthy. Thor finally lifted the hammer and Odin was very proud. Dr. Bruce Banner was an army scientist who studied gamma radiation. One day, Banner was hit by the gamma rays. Whenever he became angry or afraid, he turned into the green giant known as Hulk. Together, they formed the Earth's mightiest heroes. Back in Asgard, Thor's brother Loki had become very jealous of Thor. Loki wanted to rule Asgard, but first he had to get rid of Thor. Loki used his powers to search the universe for someone fearsome who could cause massive destruction and defeat Thor. Loki's search for the perfect warrior took him to Earth, to a small town where Bruce Banner was keeping to himself. Using his powers to remain invisible, Loki created an illusion of a broken rail just as a high-speed train was approaching. It looked like it was about to crash. Banner immediately transformed into Hulk and leapt into action to save the day. But the people on the train thought Hulk was trying to hurt them. They jumped off the train and ran in fear. Soon, news reporters all around the world were saying the same thing. Hulk was on a rampage. It didn't take long for the news to reach Earth's mightiest superheroes. Very soon, Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, Hawkeye and Thor all arrived to help save the day. They found Hulk surrounded by a mass of police officers. Loki, still invisible, rubbed his hands with glee. Not only would he defeat his brother, but he would make all of these superheroes destroy each other. The heroes tried to calm Hulk down, but he was already too agitated. He sent Hawkeye and Black Widow flying through the air. He smashed Cap's shield. Even Iron Man's 
Repulsor blasts had no effect. Thor charged Hulk with his hammer, but the big guy charged back and knocked Thor to the ground. Loki was beside himself. His plan was working perfectly. He made himself visible and declared victory. But as soon as Thor saw Loki, he knew what had happened. Loki was the real villain. Smash! Loki was not going to stick around. But when he returned, Invisible Iron Man shot a heat-seeking mini-missile at Loki that gave away his position just long enough for Hulk to smash him. The heroes had won. Nick Fury, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., also noticed the hero's victory. Now he knew just how to handle future threats to Earth. He launched the Avengers Initiative. So the superheroes all assembled. The next time Earth needed a team of mighty heroes, the Avengers would be there to answer the call. You've caused enough trouble for one lifetime, Thor said as he and Loki hurtled towards Asgard. You'll be in prison until your trial. This time, Loki had been defeated by the Avengers at the Battle of the North Pole for the gem, but he still had to pay for what he had done. As you command, dear brother, Loki replied with a sneer. The cell could contain his body, but it couldn't keep him from playing his mind games with people. He had one specific person in mind, the one who had smashed him in the North Pole when they battled for the gem, Hulk. Loki closed his eyes and located Dr. Bruce Banner. On Earth, Banner suddenly found himself surrounded by vicious warriors. It was Loki's trick, but to Dr. Banner, the illusion seemed very real. Banner transformed into Hulk, but he was actually attacking peaceful villagers who were terrified. Just as Loki planned, S.H.I.E.L.D. responded to the attack by calling in the Avengers. Thor came down to Loki's cell. I am needed on Earth once more, he said. Your trial will have to wait until I get back. Grabbing his hammer, Thor made his way to the Bitfrost Bridge to be transported back to Earth. He did not know what had happened to cause Hulk to lose his cool, but he would help the Avengers figure it out. Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow and Hawkeye were in the middle of a training simulation when they received report of the attack. They hurried off in a shield Quinjet to make sure the big guy did not do too much damage. Don't worry, Iron Man said to the villagers. We're here to help. Which way did he go? The villagers pointed to a path of destruction behind them. The superheroes wasted no time. Thor arrived just as the other heroes took off in search of Hulk. Loki created an illusion of Hulk charging directly towards Thor. Thor quickly jumped out of the way. It is me, Thor, he said, your fellow Avenger. Hulk ignored Thor and charged again. Thor swung his hammer low to trip him, but his hammer went right through the illusion. Up to your old tricks again, brother, he shouted. I know what you need. He summoned the Bitfrost Bridge and returned to Asgard. Meanwhile, the other Avengers had found the real Hulk. He'd run far away from the village where he thought he was being attacked. Now he was surrounded by familiar heroes who all seemed to want to fight him too. Easy there, big fella, Iron Man said. Nobody has to get hurt. Then Loki struck again. He made Hawkeye think that Hulk was about to attack. Hawkeye released his arrow, which whistled through the air and hit Hulk, making him even angrier. Hulk picked the arrow up and flung it towards Iron Man. He dodged just in time and fired a repulsor blast at Hulk, who was now bearing down on Captain America and Black Widow. Loki was so caught up in his mischief he didn't realise Thor had returned until he stormed into his holding cell. Thor grabbed Loki and brought him back to the middle of the field where the other Avengers were battling Hulk. Stop fighting, Thor said. Loki is to blame for this mess. 
The other Avengers advanced towards Loki, but Loki used his powers to create multiple illusions of himself so that the heroes could not tell who was the real Loki. Suddenly, Hulk swung his arm in a wide arc, his fist going through each fake Loki until he hit the real one who crumbled to the ground. No more tricks, Hulk said. Your fun is over, Thor agreed. It's back to prison for you, brother. Loki was locked up once again on Asgard and the Avengers settled in there to enjoy their victory. For now, everything was quiet on Earth. Avengers Nick Fury radioed in one day. The gem we recovered at the Battle of the North Pole has gone missing. Moments later, the Avengers gathered in the Situation Room. The gem is one of several Infinity Stones, Fury explained, and I know who took it. Thanos! He's been spotted in Central Park! The Avengers found Thanos holding the gem from Loki's staff, and four other similar looking stones. Thanos placed each of the gems into fitted slots in the gauntlet he was wearing. Behold the Infinity Gauntlet! Thanos thrust his fist out and shot an energy beam at Captain America, but Cap raised his shield and deflected the blast towards Thanos, who suddenly fell back. Blast! Taking advantage of Thanos' weakened position, the Avengers encroached from all sides, ready to attack. Thanos looked around and, seeing he was surrounded, laughed. I underestimated you, Avengers, he said. I will see you again very soon. He teleported away. The Avengers assembled on the helicarrier, shields flying aircraft, to determine a plan for stopping Thanos. Nick Fury was waiting for them. Thanos clearly wants to the last Infinity Stone, Fury said. We need to find it before he does. The last report of an energy event that might come close was back in the Arctic Tundra, Iron Man said. Anybody up for some skiing? The Avengers called Thor back from Asgard where he'd been guarding Loki and, now a complete team, headed off in search of Thanos. The Avengers boarded the helicarrier and flew off to the Arctic. When they arrived, they saw that Thanos held an orange gem, which he placed in the last remaining slot of his Infinity Gauntlet. You're too late, Avengers, Thanos crowed. Nothing can stop me now. We'll see about that, Captain America said, swinging his shield towards Thanos. Blast! Hulk launched into attack, smashing his fists into the frozen ground. Thor threw his hammer at Thanos, who easily deflected it away. Iron Man then used his thrusters to ram into Thanos. Black Widow launched herself at Thanos, but he deflected her blows. Hawkeye even shot a glowing power arrow, but it had no effect. The Avengers had to find a way to disable the Infinity Gauntlet if they had any chance of beating Thanos. Captain America had an idea. Individually, He's too strong for us, he said. But what if we combined our powers? The Avengers agreed. Thor raised his hammer and called down the power of lightning to infuse Captain America's shield. Iron Man combined Hawkeye's arrows and Black Widow's bracelets to transfer the power of his arc reactor to the shield. Iron Man turned to Hulk. Okay, big guy, you're up. Hulk took Captain America's energy-infused shield and hurled it towards Thanos, aiming for the Infinity Gauntlet on his raised fist. The gauntlet fell, releasing an explosion. Black Widow grabbed up the fallen stones, while Hulk smashed what was left of the gauntlet. Thanos was defeated, but before they could seize him, he disappeared. Thanos was still at large, but the Avengers had won the battle. They handed the Infinity Stones to S.H.I.E.L.D. for safekeeping. Thanos would be back, but the Avengers would be ready for him, and for any threat against Earth. After all, together they were the mightiest team of heroes in the universe. Awesome, thanks for reading the Avengers with me everyone. If you want to request a storybook, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'm Josie Weiss. I'll see you soon.